Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today is April 12th, 2023. I'm Lori with Unity College and I have a public service announcement for residents of my home state of Colorado and other areas where this disease occurs. And that is about cryptosporidiosis or cryptosporidium. Let's talk about what that is and how you might get it. Well, crypto is here. Not the currency, but the critter. Cryptosporidium is a microscopic parasite that causes a diarrheal disease known as cryptosporidiosis. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Well, the parasite and the disease are commonly just called crypto for short. It is the leading cause of waterborne disease in the United States, and it is right here in Colorado. The weather is starting to warm up and people are going to be seeking to cool down through recreational water activities as well as just drinking more water in general. In 2019, which is not that long ago, there were four cases of cryptosporidiosis reported at the Glenwood Hot Springs, and that's in Garfield County, Colorado. And it can be present anywhere where there is water. So let's talk about this. What does it impact or who does it impact and what causes it? Well, crypto infects humans, but it can also infect many vertebrate species. Hosts include birds, snakes, and other reptiles, and most mammals, including dogs and cattle. The crypto critter or cryptosporidium parasite causes cryptosporidiosis, which is the disease. And this little critter is a microscopic animal. It's a parasite that lives inside other animals that we call hosts. And those are things like I already mentioned, reptiles, mammals, including humans and our dogs, which we like to hike with a lot and sometimes take with us swimming and to other recreational water activities. So how is it spread? Well, it is usually spread through contaminated water. This could be pool water, lake water, river water, stream water, puddles of water, drinking water, or any recreational water sources that you're nearby. It can be spread in other ways too, like by touching contaminated substances and or contaminated surfaces and then not washing your hands and then eating. So we want to be really careful about that. What are the symptoms? Well, you'll know if you have it when you're having diarrhea, you're vomiting, you're having abdominal pain and cramping, nausea, maybe you have a fever, you start losing weight, and this is a list of common symptoms in people and dogs. In some snakes, like corn snakes, for example, it actually results in death. It impacts them very quickly and very severely, and there's really no time to even try to treat it. In humans, the illness can last four days to four weeks, but the average duration is one to two weeks. So imagine that one to two weeks of diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, cramping, nausea, fever, and yeah, you're going to lose weight. The small intestine is the main area of infection or where this parasite likes to live inside your body, but it can invade or live in other areas of the digestive tract and also in your respiratory tract. So how do doctors know if you have it? Well, crypto, remember that's what it is commonly shortened to, but we mean either cryptosporidium or cryptospirosis in humans and non-human animals is detected by looking at fecal samples under a microscope using one of several methods. Keep that in mind. We can detect it in feces, so you want to be careful when you are around animal feces, and I'm going to say it, your own feces. Make sure you're washing your hands and that you're not cleaning feces and then eating without having worn latex or nitrile gloves or washing your hands, especially those of us in the medical or veterinary fields. There are also molecular detection methods um, like PCR testing, which is polyamorase chain reaction testing. And this can actually narrow down the exact species of crypto that you or your animal is infected with. Well, how is it treated and can we cure it? Well, treatment is supportive, not curative. That means there are ways that we can support organisms in recovering from this, but we have no way to actually cure someone of crypto. Humans with healthy immune systems and other animals with healthy immune systems usually recover without supportive treatment, but supportive treatment would look like increased water intake, and if you got extremely ill, maybe IV fluids, 
and then antidiarrheal medication. In some cases, the body just cannot get rid of the parasite and it is not curable. So in snakes and many other reptiles, for example, it's often fatal because it just impacts them too quickly, too fast, and they aren't able to recover. Can I be vaccinated? Can you be vaccinated? Well, we can all be vaccinated, but not for crypto. There is no vaccination for crypto. It is a parasitic infection caused by a microscopic animal. It's not a type of virus or bacteria. How do we control it? Well, crypto is highly resistant to chlorine and many disinfectants, which makes it a pain to try to get rid of in the environment and a pain to try to control. It is just highly resistant to things that we would normally clean with. Key factors in controlling the spread of crypto include washing hands, especially before eating, avoiding contact with contaminated water and surfaces, making sure to drink treated or filtered water, and avoid accidentally ingesting water while you're swimming in pools, lakes, or while soaking in streams or hot springs. So should I be worried about myself or other pets or livestock getting the disease? Should you be worried? Well, yes, to an extent. You should be aware and you should be concerned and you should be careful, but there's no need to panic. Let's review. There are several species of crypto that can infect both humans and non-human animals. It is a parasite. It's a little animal that's protected by a really strong outer shell that makes it super hard to kill. Crypto is very tolerant of chlorine and many commonly used disinfectants, which makes it a pain for us to get rid of. And it can survive for a really long time outside of the host animal in the environment. So it's just tough to get rid of. It's a pain. And we want to be careful about getting infected with it. We want to be diligent about our cleaning of surfaces and keeping water clean and treated and or filtered. But we don't need to panic. Remember what I said before, wash your hands, avoid contaminated water and surfaces. Don't accidentally drink or eat it, basically. For lots more information, you can go to the CDC or the Centers for Disease Control. They have a website with lots of information information about crypto, um, both cryptosporidium, the animal, and cryptosporidiosis, the disease, that is really helpful. Thank you so much for learning, and remember to stay safe and always be kind.